हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक माई सेल्फ संजय नाटर टूडे वी शेल बी लर्निंग चैप्टर वन ऑफ क्लास नाइन मैथ्स नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज सेट्स एट टेक ए फ्यू एग्जाम्पल विच यू कम अक्रॉस इन अवर डेली लाइफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेज ऑफ ए वीक मंथ इन ए ईयर planets in our solar system we can count them days in it days of the week there are seven days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday months january february april december there are 12 months in a year planets in the solar system there are nine we can classify them as sets so the definition of set if we can definitely and clearly decide the object of a given collection then that collection is called a set generally the name of the set is given using capital letters the members are denoted by small letters let's write for an example set is denoted by capital letter the elements of the set set containing all the alphabet a to z there are 26 alphabet the set is denoted by capital letter a and the elements are denoted by small letter a to z so a set is a collection of well defined object and consists of number of items having some common characteristics let us take another example n is a set of natural numbers Start from and then we have a set of integers. Minus three, minus one, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and so on. So we are getting the definition of set. There are two methods of writing set. A set has to be written. There are two methods of writing set. One is listing method or roster method, as we have done it just now. Then rule method or set builder method. Under the listing method, set is written as A E I O U. The elements are written. This is the set A. Set A contains vowels of English alphabets. A E I U. This is written in listing method. And if we write it in set builder method, A A contains element X such that X is a vowel of English alphabet. So there are two methods of describing a set. First is rule listing method. Second is set builder method. In the listing method, we write the elements as they are there, and in the rule set builder method, these elements are represented by an alphabet X and The characteristic of X is written in the brackets. That is, X such that X is a vowel of English alphabet. Suppose it is a natural number. The set consists of natural numbers one, two, up till ten. Then, under this method, the set is represented by the X such that X is a natural number and X lies between 
1 and 10. Slide between 1 and 10. Hopefully, this is clear to all of you. Now we are going to describe types of set. The first type of set is singleton set. A set which contains only one element is known as singleton set. For example, set of even prime number. There is only one even prime number that is the number 2. Since the set contains only one single element, we call it singleton set. Empty or null set. A set which contains no element is known as empty or null set. For example, the set of rational number between 2, sorry, natural number between 2 and 3. There is no natural number between 2 and 3. So we call it a null set. It is described as follows. B. There is no element. So it is written as blank. Or we also denote it by phi. A set which contains no element is known as a null set. It is denoted by phi. Next type of set is finite set. A set which contains a number of elements which can be counted is known as finite set. The number of elements are countable. For example, 7 days of a week, for example, 12 months of a year, these are countable. So, it is known as finite set. Yes. Next, we have infinite set. A set whose number of elements cannot be counted or whose number of elements goes up to infinity is known as infinite set. For example, the set of natural numbers, the set of whole numbers, set of integers. These are all infinite number of elements. So they are known as infinite set. Hopefully, this uh, four types are clear. Let's uh, revise it once again. Singleton set, a set which contains only one element. Null set, a set which contains no element. Finite set, set whose number of element can be counted infinite set a num set whose el number of element cannot be counted that is it is infinite number of element we have got one new word phi a set which contains no element is denoted by phi sorry for the interruption for example a set a can is a set of Letters of the word listen. So we have L I S T E N. Another set contains letters of word silent. S I L E N T. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now they are same. N N E E T E S S I I S L. So set A equal to set B. Hopefully this is understandable. Two sets are said to be equal when the number of elements are same. That is every element of set A is an element of the set B and every element of set B is an element of set A. Sets are denoted by Venn diagram. Set of vowels. This is the set of vowel and is denoted by Venn diagram. This Venn diagram is named after the great mathem mathem mathematician John Venn. Next, we have describing subset. Before subset, we need to learn universal set. The universal set of English alphabets. Denoted by A. Now there is another set called B. This contains only vowels.
A is a universal set which contains all the elements of English alphabet. There is no element left A to Z. So we we'll call it universal set. Now B is an element which contains only the vowels of the English alphabet. Since B, each and every element of B belongs to element of A, and there are some more elements in B. We call B is a subset of A. Subset is denoted as C. Let's understand it one more time. The universal set A. It contains all the elements which can appear in this set. That is the alphabets of the English letter. English and that is the letters of the English alphabet. Then there is a set B, which contains all the vowels A, E, I, O, U. Since the set B elements of set B are same as element of set A, but there exists some more element in set A, so we can call it B is a subset of set A. Symbolically written as B is a subset of set A. In reverse, we can say say A is a superset of B. Since A contains an extra element, A is called the superset of B. Let us describe this by a Venn diagram: universal set and subset. Universal set is always represented by a square or a rectangle, and a subset is represented by a circle. Universal set U A A E I O U. Other elements B C D F G Z. This universal set U contains all the letters of English alphabet. And the subset A contains only the vowels, so A is a circle within the square. This is the correct way to represent it by Venn diagram. Then we need to learn complement. Complement set U A to Z. And then A is a letter set containing alphabet. A complement. A complement or our small c is a set containing elements of U after deducting elements of A that is B, C, D, D F, Z. That is A complement is a set containing all the consonant. If we know the English, the alphabets are divided into two parts: vowels and consonant. Since it is a set containing vowels, then A complement will be a set containing the remaining letters of the English alphabet. That is the consonant B, C, D, F, G, H, and others are still set. So A complement basically is U subscript. You need to subtract A from the given universal set U. Next, we have operations on set. Suppose two sets are given as follows: A is a set, B is a set. One, two, three, four, five. And B is a set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Union of set denoted by U. A union B means all the common item between A and B. A contains one, two, three, four, up till five, A and B contains one, two, up till ten. So the common items are common and uncommon. All items will be written. Union one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A union B is a set containing all the elements of A and B. A intersection is a set containing the common elements of A and B. Let me make it more clear. 
there is a one more element 11 so union shall be up in 11 and intersection shall be common item from the this and sorry, this 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 intersection with will be 1 2 3 4 5 union shall be 1 2 3 up in 11 suppose there is no common item between them the set is just like this it contains 11 and it contains 1 2 3 4 5 up to 10 since there is no common item between them a union b will be same a intersection b will be found null set or disjoint set as discussed earlier So let's end the class of today. Hopefully, basic concept of set has been explained. In case you have any doubt, just leave your doubts in the comment section and I will try to clear them. Do like our channel and subscribe it. Thank you very much.